Hi, I'm Wanda from Alanda Craft and we've had a lot of requests on how to put together these hexagon pinwheels. Now we did a video on how to make these and how to create them and there'll be a link to that in the description below. But I'm going to show you how I put them together. So as you can see I have a few laid out. Now if I was making a large quilt what I would do is I would just keep adding hexagons all the way down till I have my pattern as large as I wanted. But for today's tutorial I'm simply going to work with what I have on the mat here. Now you don't need to sew your hexagons together as a hexagon. I don't do that because that complicates things and you end up doing Y seams. So I'll show you what I do. I'm just going to pull everything apart. Right, because I sew them together in rows. All right, so I have a row here. I have a row here. And then I simply take my triangles and I put them right sides together. And I sew down here with a quarter inch seam. And be very careful with this because pin them uh, in the manner that they are because if you move these away and you get to your sewing machine you'll never remember where they were supposed to go. Okay so now we take the next one and we place that over here and again with a quarter inch seam and I'm just going to work my way down the row until I have them all sewn together and then I'll do this row exactly the same. So I'll go and do that now. Okay so I've sewn the two rows together and now I'm just going to join them. So I just take one row and lay it on top of the other just match up the points and I'm going to sew with a quarter inch seam so I'll do that now. So there you are, the rows are sewn together and if I had further rows I would join them together into a strip and add them to those rows. So if you've enjoyed this tutorial give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching.